can you stick to your diet better if you cheat on it? For me, the answer is yes. Let's talk about cheat days. So back at the end of 2015, I was hovering at about around 205 and I, I was actually starting to trend back upwards. I had lost like 17 pounds, but I didn't really have a clear plan. And so I read this book called The 4-Hour Body by Tim Ferriss and it really changed my thinking on a lot of things. And I didn't even do the diet that he recommends, which is called the slow carb diet. I did my own thing instead. But one thing I took away from that book was the importance of cheat days. And really, I think cheat days have been a major reason for my success with actually losing the weight and keeping it off. So what is a cheat day? It is bacchanalia, basically. It is eating whatever you want to eat, however much you want to eat. Just, there are no rules except for the only rule is you have to eat whatever you want, whenever you want, and not limit yourself. So to me, that sounded counterintuitive. Like, isn't that gonna just screw up all the, the good eating and everything that I did all week long if I had this day where I just basically wrecked myself? But at that point, I thought, well, I've never really tried this before, and I tend to be kind of an all or nothing person. So what would happen historically with me is I would be on a diet, and then I would cheat on it, and so then I would just quit altogether because like, well, if I can't be perfect, then forget it. So what I found with cheat days is that it really helps me to be super consistent throughout the week because I know that on Sunday there are no rules. So when I started doing cheat days, I had decided to really get more strict with intermittent fasting. I had kind of like experimented with it, but I was really kind of loosey goosey. But then I started to say, okay, I'm really going to do longer fasts. So I was doing like 18 hour fasts at that point. And it was so crucial to me to have that cheat day to look forward to. For example, I would be in the middle of my fasting window and I would just start to have these cravings. Like, uh, you know, my husband would be eating a, uh, a turkey sandwich and it'd just be like cheap turkey meat from Walmart or something, but it looked delicious. And so because I could tell myself, okay, you can't have that now, but you can have that for lunch or whenever you want on Sunday, then it, it, it calmed the craving down and I was able to stick with my fasting plan. So again, my one rule for cheat day is no denying myself or anything. Now you may think, well, why don't you just try to like be pretty good on cheat day or, you know, kind of curb yourself a little bit. What I've found is if I don't do cheat day right, so meaning I just eat whatever I want, whenever I want, then through the week, what I could say to myself in my head is like, well, but you know, you were pretty good. Like you didn't have that, you know, piece of chocolate, whatever on Sunday that you wanted. So then I would think, well, it's okay to cheat a little right now because I was good on Sunday. I can look forward to cheat day because it's a day with no rules. If you make it a day with kind of rules, then it's like you never really get to have that break that you so desperately need. So what ends up happening is that six days out of seven, I'm a superstar and I'm eating exactly according to plan and it's really easy because I've stuck with it. And then that one day I get to just go forth and enjoy. And so it really works out well for me. And Tim Ferriss goes so far to even recommend that you make a list during the week of your cheat day foods, like things you're craving so that on cheat day, you really do eat those things that you crave throughout the week. So what does cheat day look like for me? I usually wake up early, you know, have some coffee. We have a pancake breakfast. That's homemade pancakes with chocolate chips and maple syrup, butter, usually a couple of eggs too. So it's a pretty big breakfast. Uh, I will get hungry again around noon, which is so funny to me because I can normally, I can be, you know, fasting all day, no problem. But it's like once I start eating, the hunger starts up. Uh, I usually on cheat day love to have some peanut butter ramen, which is so good. <laughs> so bad for you, but so good to me. And then I just eat, you know, whatever I want in the afternoon. Sometimes I, I like graze throughout the day. Sometimes I just, you know, I'm full until supper and supper is usually leftovers because I try to keep it easy. One thing I do try to do is I try to always force myself to eat something around 6.30, uh, even if I'm not very hungry, because what I have done in the past, has been kind of a mistake, is like I'll be so full at around 4.30, I'll just stop eating, I'll be like, I'm really not hungry, and then what ends up happening is Monday then, you know, I'm fasting for longer than 24 hours, which is a little bit more of a challenge. It's doable, but it's just more of a challenge. So that's my experience with cheat days. I'm curious, what are your experiences? Or maybe a more fun question is, what's your favorite cheat day meal? <laughs> so. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.